Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm yours, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at another really special beer. This one, my friends, is from Firestone Walker. This is their 15th anniversary ale. It's a 12.5% blended American strong ale. It's a conglomerate of eight different Firestone Walker uh, beers that have all been barrel aged for months. Some have been barrel aged for years, and they're all blended together this year. Um, the components are more barley wine like, whereas for 14 they were more uh, imperial stout like, whereas parabola was the number one component. Big beer that really changed this blend up this year according to Firestone Walker and the little fact sheet they give you in this is that they added double jack into it, which is an amazing imperial IPA from them. So without further ado, let me get this one to a glass so that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on Firestone Walker's 15th anniversary. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Firestone Walker 15, um, it's a beautiful dark mahogany red. There's these blood red notes right on the curve of the glass where the light's hitting there. Um, there was a very, very small, maybe a quarter of a finger of an off-white head in there. Really, really nice big bubbles, nice carbonation um, coming off the sides of the glass. Definitely some alcohol feed on this one. Decent amount of lacing. Yeah, I mean, it looks a lot like a traditional, say, English barley wine or something. Really, really beautiful looking beer. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Firestone Walker 15. Wow, big dark fruits, cherries, plums, raisins. I'm getting a big cinnamon characteristic off of this one. Um, a sweet kind of fruitiness. Definitely getting that Firestone Walker. Uh, it's like a roasted coconut smell I get from all of their barrel beers. Definitely coming off in this one. Decent amount of booziness. It is a, a hot smelling beer. Caramel, toffee, just a big, big kind of chewy, sweet. Um, multi-character coming off of it. Wow, it smells like a really, really intense beer. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the taste on the Firestone Walker 15. Cheers. Wow, that is completely different than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, wow, <laughs> um, right at the front of the tongue. There's a big hot presence. It's a sweet citrusy hot presence. Um, it's there and then it's gone almost immediately. Middle of the mouth, you're getting just massive amounts of dark fruits, cherries, plums, raisins, big caramel and toffee notes. Definitely getting the bourbon barrel characteristic, that vanilla, woody, oakiness coming through. Definitely getting that Firestone Walker roasted coconut. Although I have to say it's not nearly as prominent as it would be in say their Parabola or last year's anniversary beer, but it's definitely there. Big mouthfeel, big, big sticky, kind of chewy mouthfeel in this one. Sweet aftertaste, um, definitely getting more dark fruits, caramel, toffee, again, like a cinnamon, kind of earthy spiciness coming through. Nice big, again, bourbon characters um, coming out of this. It's a hot beer. It's a very, very hot beer. Lots of booziness. Um, definitely feeling the warming. Definitely getting in the mouth feel as well. But man, is this an intense beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict, the Firestone Walker 15th anniversary, 12.5%. Very limited availability, so get it now. It is available. Guys, I'm going to give this one a solid A. This is one of the most intense, complex, difficult to rate beers. Um, I almost actually don't know how to, how to define this and put this into categories and really give you guys a final verdict. For me, you know, you're, I'm getting these huge barley wine characteristics, but at the same time I'm getting these, you know, great kind of oaky, tanniny, vanilla, bourbon characters that are blending with the barley wine um, to really kind of elevate this beer. This one is definitely a boozy beer, um, but I think with a year from now, this thing's gonna age with the best of them. This is gonna be an A plus beer in a year, so pick up a couple of bottles, just lay them down, forget about them. It's just awesome stuff. It's really a really complicated beer, and I'm really curious to see what you guys think about it, so leave a comment, please, because um, again, this one was tough to tackle. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, I have, my mind just kinda going a million miles an hour right now about this beer, because it's just super complicated and super awesome. And no one is doing these beers like Firestone Walker. This is just technically and epically hard to create beer. Um, and they nailed it out of the park. So with that, with that said, guys, getting an A, a from me. Remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.